Hi guys, welcome back to Eight Pine Horsemanship. This is Keisha, and uh, today we have a new horse, as you can see him in the background. Oh my god, he's so beautiful! His name is Boog. He is a three-year-old dock bar miss with a thoroughbred. So a little history on him, we found out that he has been beaten. Um, poor baby. So he's a little head shy. Um, apparently he's super crazy. <sighs> um, I haven't seen that, but he's only been here like an hour and a half, so you never know. Uh, so far to me, he seems really trusting. I come out here a couple of times and haven't given him treats or anything, and he's walked right up to me. He's unbalanced still um, when he runs, so we're going to be working on that to strengthen up those legs and get him balanced. And, uh, yeah, he's beautiful. Um, there's something else that I was going to say, but I forgot. So, oh, he's been beaten with whips, so when I um, swing the whip, I'll give him quite a few warnings, and then give him a little tap if I want him to speed up. Come here, beautiful! He's so pretty. So I'm just going to lunge him a little bit, and this is going to be our first lesson. He is halter broke, mostly. He still, like Skyla, has some issues where he doesn't want to once in a while. And they said that they just trimmed his feet, but they look kind of long to me. And I tried picking him up, and as soon as I picked him up, he'd drop him and back up. So, I'm not quite sure how much he's had done with his feet. And you can pretty much touch all over his body. We haven't went behind him yet. We're going to wait a few days till he settles down. Super head shy. So, um, yeah, we're just going to move him out and uh, you guys get to watch this beautiful boy. So again, three-year-old Doc Bar mixed with a thoroughbred. Okay. So since he was beaten with the whip, I was going to try it without the whip to see how I do, but he's cutting in and not keeping a circle, so I'm going to use the whip just for guidance. Ignore me, push him out a little bit.
I'm not really worried about him listening or not listening right now. I'm just trying to let him get his energy out because when he got off the trailer, he was really hot. Um, right there, I was trying to get him to face up. He almost did, and then he said, nah, so I just gave him a little tap on the butt to say, hey, I want you to face up. Like, right here, he faced up, and when I went to pet him, he took off. A minute ago, I had the, before it filmed, I had the halter on him, and he's really sweet, but once the halter's off, some horses act different, like Skyla. Um, so, yeah, look at that stunning horse. Oh, my God. Beautiful. So I'm just going to push him around a little bit more. If you're wondering what he's spooking at and turning at in this corner... We have a garage sale sign, um, a bridge, and some pool noodles. So for a horse that's been beaten and kind of head shy, it's going to be a little weary about that stuff. Um, but he will have the round pen and the shelter on sunny days. There will be round pen and the food, and he'll have to go through the bars to get it. Or the bars. The, um, he'll have to go through the pool noodles to get it. And I'm not going to, like, if he doesn't eat during the whole day, I'm not going to make him wait until he's hungry enough. I'll put it in the feeder, but I would prefer him to be brave by himself and build up his own confidence. I'm not really wanting him to canter too much because you guys see how clumsy he is. So I'm trying to make him trot, but if he wants to canter, I'm going to let him just to let him get his piss and vinegar out. He knows what his body can handle, so. I guess they already tried saddling him. I don't know why you would saddle a head shy horse, but that's... Yeah, so I guess, and he uh, put all four legs out and started shaking and just froze and then took off. So, from my understanding. But, in a couple of weeks, you guys will see some trailer loading videos because they're bringing out the trailer, supposedly, hopefully. They're bringing out the trailer in about a month. And so, yeah. But I might cut the video short and keep working with him because it is going to rain again. If it starts raining and the video cuts off, you guys know why. Look at that horse. Oh my god. I'm really cutting this video short. I don't know if you guys can hear, but it's raining. I'm gonna leave this gate open and see if he'll follow me into the shelter. Oof. And the hay is not covered. Fun times. I got a lot of stuff to do in the rain. But um, let's see if we'll come. Come on, big guy. Come on. Poor baby, so scared. Let's see if I can't get him to come out. Good boy! Let's see if he'll come out. I don't know if he will. I don't think so. It took us about a half hour to get him in the round pen, even with the pool noodles tied back. But if he wants to be dry, he will. If he's thirsty enough, he will. He's got a hay feeder, and I can't. And some hay over there I gotta put in the barn. I wish we had like a separate little thing right here to put the hay in so I didn't have to take it clear over. Ooh, it's raining. Come on, Book. Come on. Let me see if I can't push him out. Oh, you're gonna face up, huh? It's okay. See if we can get him out. Oh, good boy. He did it all on his own. Let's get under the shelter with him. That's surprising considering how long it took to get him in there. And we had hay, treats. Ooh, what is that? Is there other horses smells? No. We've had three of his pasture mates in here. He's never been in here. So for those of you wondering, he's got shelter. It's connected. I'm going to push him out because I want him to go find his water trough. There, he found it. And I'm going to have to cut this video here in a minute because I need to cover the hay before it gets ruined. 
I'm moldy and nasty and the salt blocks and the grain. I'd like him to find the water trough. There he goes. I'm gonna back off, give him a space. So again, today I'm not looking for him to follow cues or anything. So that is boo, guys, and oh my god! I'm actually excited because that's what I called my dog too. So won't be hard to for how to remember. I want to introduce some mares, but I'm not sure if I should do it today or another day. I want him to um, feel confident. So I was kind of thinking about putting one of the girls in for the night, but I'm not sure. I haven't decided quite yet. Some people prefer to let them settle in on their own, but since they're going to be pasture mates anyways, I don't know. I might wait a couple nights. So this is Boog and we're going to cut the video off here in a minute. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching and please share and thank you to the three new subscribers. Bye guys.